Welcome back to the Nevada Department of Wildlife's Introduction to Fly Tying course. This is the final lesson, the basic ant dry fly. I am Jan Nimick, your instructor. And before we get started on this guy, we're going to take a quick minute to talk about hackles. So on our ant, the hackle itself is very, very rigid or stiff. You can see it just bounces right back off of my finger. The first fly that we tied was our woolly bugger streamer. You can see that this hackle is a little bit different where it's a little bit softer and webbier. It doesn't just come back to shape to that vertical position that it's tied down in. A little more exaggerated version. This is a really webby or a long hackled woolly bugger. The hackle that we use is going to dictate what that final fly looks like. This is a wet fly hackle, or what I would call a wet fly hackle. You can see it material or the barbs stick together, kind of a webby appearance, which is very, very different from our dry fly saddle hackle. You can see it's much more consistent as far as the length of or the width of the feather and the material itself is very very rigid so not webby at all and that material is definitely going to return back to its resting position. The reason we use that really rigid material in our dry flies is that is what actually makes the fly float. Alright let's get started. Basic ant dry fly we're going to start with black 6 aught thread a little bit thinner for dry flies I'm going to go all the way back to the rear, make sure I've got a good foundation built. And I'm going to try my best to break this fly into about thirds. So the third rear of the hook, we are going to use our dubbing wax and apply some black dry fly dubbing. It comes in a lot of different names. Um, just want to make sure that you're purchasing something for dry flies. And again, over and over, less is more, less is more, less is more. All right, twisting that on, again, working the same direction always. Oops. I'm going to start at the back, and again in thirds, I'm going to start my dubbing, and I'm going to make one row to about a third, and then I'm going to work back to the left. And I'm going to, what I like to call, stack dubbing. So I've made two rows there. We'll apply some more dubbing. And what that's going to do is it's going to help us create that ball. So we see good segmentation between the rear and the front of the fly. All right. And with that third row of material on, we're going to call it good. And my dry fly saddle, here we go. So this is where we add, there's a top and a bottom to saddle feathers, both wet and dry fly. Every feather's got a top and bottom. I'm going to trim back this just a little bit so it's a little bit easier to work with. With our wet fly hackle, we tied it in tip first, but with our dry fly, we're going to tie it in butt first. Now, top and bottom. The bottom of the feather is going to appear to be shiny, whereas the top of the feather is going to appear to be have more of a vibrant but flat look to it. With the top of my feather, you can also see that there's kind of a natural cup to the feather itself, and that's going to help you, should help you, decide what's the top and the bottom. The top should cup over the fly. All right, just like the marabou we trimmed back and prepared to tie in, we're going to do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to just pull some of that material off there so I've got a spot to tie that in. And again with the cup down, I'm going to grasp the material in kind of a pinch and I'm going to use kind of a combination between our pinch and the diagonal drop where I want to secure it 
two, three, four, ideally, so it lays kind of flat across the top of the fly. Then when I make my first wrap, it should keep that material cupped back. Let's see how we did. So when I wrap my hackle material, I'm not going to wrap right next to each other. I'm going to try to give just a little bit of space. Again, so it helps keep that segmentation clear. We'll secure this by making two wraps on the left, two wraps on the right, and then, oops, final two wraps on the left and trim. Clean that up with some wraps. So we've got our rear segmentation. Let's build our front. Same manner. Apply a less is more kind of a layer of dubbing. Trying to work left to right again. We're going to just go back and forth until we finish at the eye. Put a whip finish in. And that is our basic ant dry fly.